Hey everyone, congratulations to all of the Apple Swift Student Challenge winners this year. I've enjoyed watching all of your creative submissions and they're some of the best I've seen so far. This year, Apple imposed a limit to how many times you can move a challenge. The limit is four wins, so unfortunately that means I'm no longer eligible because I've already won five times. The good news, however, is I'm still joining in and participating at the conference. Anyway, even though I'm not eligible, I still made a project to share with all of you. I've always loved the challenge and it's been something I've been doing for the past six years. And I just wanted to continue with the spirit of WWDC. So here's the submission and I hope you enjoy it. I had this idea of a meta project where a duck is the one creating WWDC projects and you're helping him. I thought it'd be fun to create a game within a game. You start with an egg which you need to tap to hatch. The duck starts in 2D but we need him to be in 3D so we need to blow into a microphone to inflate him. You couldn't see this but I was blowing into a microphone to inflate the duck. After placing the scene in AR, you'll see a lab where the duck works to make the game. You can see there are various Apple technologies that he's using already, such as ARKit and SceneKit. You might also know where the spinning Lego is from. The game the duck is building is a shooting game, so for a first task, the duck needs to create some boxes as targets. You help him by drawing on the screen, and the boxes will fill the area that you draw. So if you draw a trapezoid, then the boxes will be formed in a trapezoidal shape. For the astute among you, you may also notice a special box with a bug inside of it. The goal of a shooting game is to shoot it and let it fall onto the ground. This part ended up being a bit more complicated than I originally anticipated. To do this, I had to make sure that the boxes were placed optimally with a bit of math. I then validate it by making sure that the boxes don't fall over. Once you are done, you can either draw again to try a different shape, or continue. The duck then walks, or should I say waddles, to the next station to code the game. Oh no! There's a bunch of bugs! Why are there always bugs in my WWDC projects? Oh well, let's help the duck debug the game. To do this, you need to put your hand in front of the camera and wipe the bugs off the screen. I used Core ML for this and Apple's hand pose detection model. The points I then got were then projected and reconstructed on the screen. That part works with any iPad with a camera, but I wanted to show it on a device with LiDAR so you could see people occlusion in action. Anyway, the game is finally bug free, so here's the final part. The duck tells you to point towards random directions in order to calibrate the turret. He'll use it later to shoot the boxes. I used core motion for this to give the device's heading with a magnetometer and then I displayed it on the compass. And finally the game is finished, so now it's time to try it out. You aim the turret by pointing towards where you want to shoot. When you tap on the screen, you shoot projectiles. And to win, you have to knock down the bug inside the box. And that's my project. I had a lot of fun and learned a ton from making this. I hope this project was entertaining and can hopefully serve as a bit of an inspiration for future submissions. But most of all, thank you for watching. Thanks for watching this video and I hope you've enjoyed what I've made. I hope to see you at WWDC. Otherwise, goodbye and see you in the next video.